So in this video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Loop AI templates, which is a new feature Microsoft launched in Microsoft Loop. And we'll go and take a look and see what I think about it, what it does. Let's go and find out. I'm Gavin Jones, founder and director at MeTime. We help organizations be more efficient to help make their employees' lives easier, save them time, increase well-being, and increase sales. Stick around until the end to find out more about how we might be able to work together. So here we are in Microsoft Loop. I should say it is still in preview. It isn't fully integrated into the rest of Microsoft 365 yet, although they have got components coming out that go across their apps, but the workspaces, the main sort of Microsoft Loop app isn't out yet. So it's only available on the web. It's only in preview. So anything I should say it should be taken in that context. But Microsoft keep building new features into Microsoft Loop, even though it's in preview. If we click the plus button to create a new workspace, one of the new features is that it alleges that it's using AI, which seems to be, be used for everything at the moment, to help you create that workspace. All I would say before we get in is Notion have gone full into AI. So you know all the AI stuff is within all the bits of Notion. And with Microsoft Copilot, where it's got Chat GPT, OpenAI, all the investment Microsoft are putting there, and um, they're putting Copilot and AI into all of their apps. That isn't out yet. And I'm pretty sure from memory without looking that Copilot is coming into loop. So that is the bit that's going to compete with Notion AI. This then might seem an odd feature because it seems like it's going back to how AI was branded, bandied about before ChatGPT and before like actual AI, as I would call it, where it's just surfacing some things for you without being particularly intelligent. So got new videos on Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Loop, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Viva, Microsoft Copilot coming out every Tuesday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time a new one comes out. I'm going to create a new workspace called Content Plan. So maybe I need a workspace to do my YouTube videos. Now, might be unfair because I don't do any of my YouTube videos in the Microsoft ecosystem. I do all in the Apple ecosystem. So there is no content in my Microsoft ecosystem to do with producing content. So let's see if it knows that. Maybe we'll call it for YouTube, give it a more of a hint. Click continue. So what it's doing is it says they will suggest content based on the title of your workspace and try and pull out content that it thinks you might want to put into your loop workspace. So even though I've put content plan for YouTube, so it's about a plan, it's about YouTube. I did say it was a bit little unfair because there's nothing about YouTube saved anywhere in, in Microsoft land. But what it has pulled out is nothing to do with YouTube and nothing to do with content. So it's got it's got a lot of my files that I might want to use. And some of them I've used recently, some of them I haven't. But it's yeah, it's pulled out quite a lot of random content. It, you can see it when if it does work and picks out things that it, you, you do actually need. It is searching across all the Microsoft ecosystem. So it's got PowerPoint slides, PDFs, Excel documents. It's got, uh, when I did it before, it had a SharePoint site page that it can pull out. And here it's got some Microsoft Teams meetings that are then saved in stream. And it does say you can add a keyword or phrase to sort of narrow it down. Say we use project proposal. I mean, that's something that is in the Microsoft ecosystem. And so it's added these, it's got all suggestions here, and then adds those keywords as different tabs. So I guess it's it's not really, I wouldn't, I wouldn't particularly badge this as AI, but it is trying to help you. So I guess AI in that sense, it's trying to help you. It's pretty much like a search, isn't it? So searching for projects, and if I click on the project tab, it's got all the things that it thinks uh, to do with project. It's pulled that project within our speech of what we we're talking about there, which is useful. It's obviously pulling out some other loop pages that where we've got something to do with the project and proposal. It's like these probably are most of my uh, proposals that I've done for clients. So let's just see what it does if we just go and tick some of these things. So say we wanted like, yeah, that 
that one is to do with the workspace that we want. So it's this one, and maybe let's pick um, another loop page as well to see what it does. So we've got three items selected. So we've got PowerPoint and Excel, a loop page, and then we're going to create our workspace. So it's AI templates. It should be helping us set the loop up as we want it. And with a bit of a drum roll, it creates it with the, the loop workspace with the title we added with the first untitled page. And then all of the AI is then we've just managed to link back to that content that we said. So it hasn't like created a page and written out a page based on the content, the files that we've shown it. I think we would be able to do that if Copilot was ready in loop right now, but that's not out yet. If you want to know more about Copilot, then check out this video here to see what's coming. But all this is doing right now, which is odd that they've badged it as or branded it as AI templates, it's created an untitled page and then links to all the, the places that we selected ourselves. So if we click those links, it doesn't really do anything in loop. It just jumps us out into a different tab and opens that app. So whether it's Excel, PowerPoint, it's just going to open the PowerPoint slides and you know we could edit them and it's you know it's keeping it in the same place it's got a link to the loop page which does actually show us the page that's in a different workspace without jumping out into that workspace which might be useful and so if we did want to add anything later it's then still unclear about how you get this content down the side so if we do new link we have to go and find the URL to that content. So I guess the AI template is helping us in that regard. We don't need to go and find those files and then put them into the sidebar. But I'd say we're probably more useful just to work on that UI element. So we could pick from recent files or search the files to add them in links to the side. If that's something that you even wanted to do, I think the power of having a loop or any sort of note capturing software is to have these files in the context of whatever we're making a note about. So obviously you can do that and check out this video on just a general overview of Microsoft Loop. If you want to know more about the basics of embedding and putting files in a loop page, but yeah, having them in the sidebar, I'm not sure is that useful. So, and, and there doesn't seem to be a way, an easy way to get your files into the sidebar once you've not which if you skip that step or have got a new file, so then go and put them in, unless you go and find the URL and, and stick it in the sidebar yourself. So might be over egged from calling it AI templates. Obviously any template is, is useful to help uh, get up to speed. I'm not sure creating the workspace with this AI, which doesn't seem particularly mature AI, at least I would say, especially with all the news about Copilot coming out, is an odd thing to release when they could have been working on something else. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What is quite useful, which we did go through in this other video, is the pages templates. So trying to get a page set up for you, especially with a new product, or like, well, what can I do with it? And having a template gallery, that's quite useful. And they have built out more templates, I think, than when we did that initial video, which you can check out here. And you can have a look through these pages templates at your leisure. So we'll use that one. And that creates the template for the page, which I think is a bit more useful. And then you can add files into that page by hitting slash and go and pick the file that you want. But that's Microsoft Loop AI templates. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you disappointed from how it's been implemented? Are you disappointed about the how it's been named? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's useful? Are you gonna use it? How are you getting on with Loop so far? Really keen to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you need any more help getting your whole organization to work more modern way and be more efficient, then that's what I help organizations do. Book a call using the link in the description below and we can have a chat to see if we are a good fit to work together. If you need more help as an individual, we've got some free courses and some paid courses in the link in the description below that you might want to check out. And if you just want to see these videos coming out, then consider buying us a beer using Super Thanks in YouTube 
switching your energy supplier, or if you're about to buy a Tesla, then using our referral link, all will help support the channel and keep these videos coming out free on YouTube. But if you don't want to do any of that, then you can still help us out by clicking the thumbs up button if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because it really helps us out in the algorithm. And thank you for watching so far. We'll see you in the next one.